What if the queen, the most powerful piece on the board, instead of being a source of power, becomes a source of trouble? Let's find out. I have three puzzles for you today. This is the first one. The knight has just moved to D1. What should I do? Second puzzle. The knight has just moved to B4. What should I do? Third one. The knight has just captured a pawn at E6. What should I do? All right, let's begin. The game begins innocently enough with normal opening moves. Modern defense, other variations. So that's a new variation there that's unique. But that is standard move, right? Pawn, pawn move, pawn move, bishop to the corner. So far, so good. Castle, castle, and bishop threatening, pinning the knight here to the queen, and that's normal. That's this is usually happens. So, so far nothing out of ordinary. Next move. This is a rather unusual. Usually I would move the knight over here, but I, I decided to just. Play around a little bit, changing things around. Now, this is interesting because suddenly I have this thing over here uh, that I can play the net with, and the net will be relatively safe, right? So, take that, take that, and the knight move to d1. This is the first puzzle right here. All right, so notice over here that the queen and the rook are basically in one line over here. Notice that this square is being covered by knight and rook. So simple enough, just skewer the queen basically. And what can white do? Well, there's one thing white can do, block it with a pawn. And I say, aha, there's a bishop right there. Let's take that. And then natural recapture over here. And suddenly, fork the queen and the rook. Boom, just like that. So, <coughs> what tries to be fancy and it failed. Minus seven, so that's, that's a huge advantage right there. Next move. Now, what is trying to do the same over here? Trying to capture the knight over here. Pawn block. Pawn capture. Bishop capture. What can what do? Capture with bishop. Capture bishop, and I'm safe. There's no need to fuck my queen. No bishop to fuck my queen. So, so I got the rook here for nothing. So advantage, seven points. Next move. Pretty much just push uh, the knight over here. But in this case, this is quite solid over here. Now, it's possible that the pawn can be pushed here, but if the pawn did get pushed, I'll just take this one. And that's all there is to it. There is a thing over here that 
that can capture the pawn over here and rook cannot recapture because basically that's losing proposition so what can do that what can make that move that's a free pawn right here so just capture and white of course she's there and say aha i have a free pawn as well capture that one this is puzzle number two the knight fork the queen and the rook again so this is two forks already so the queen has not only the cause of trouble from the previous fork but also the cause of trouble for this fork so yes that's a problem so this one right here capture the rook of course now uh, this knight is hanging right it's not being guarded so let's just take the knight over there suddenly what is in trouble so what captured the pawn here right here right in the queen puzzle number three what should i do i could have done this right here queen takes queen takes and you know it's this pretty much when when position yeah so over here what i decided to do however is this one right here so the queen is being pinned to the knight uh, the knight is being pinned to the queen so again the queen becomes the source of trouble just cannot do it over there and what we lose the knight so that's a problem and that's about it because what we signed well that was a quick game that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow